You know, it's nice to be fishing with Ryan again. Ryan was our guide up at Red Pine Wilderness Lodge. And the first evening when we got to the lodge, he said, let's go out for a couple hours, you know, just to get the feel on the water. And uh, we went out fishing in about 30 feet of water off a reef. And all we caught were large fish. Do you remember how many and what lengths they were? Uh, Did we get four or five big fish? We got one 30 and a quarter, got a 29 incher, got a 26 and change. Um, those are nice fish. Oh yeah, Good. I was happy. Now are you gonna go back up there again this year? Yes, I will be back up there for my 10th yes. year, I think it is. Cause you know we're gonna be up there, right? In July, again, we've been invited. That's good. And it was great <laughs> fishing. Now this is kind of neat. So you fish for everything. What do you do in the winter time when it's cold? Ice fish. Okay, you don't watch TV, sit around the house, that kind of thing? Uh, I watch Canadian sport fishing. All right, good answer. This is great. <laughs> He's gonna come up slowly. Maybe he's bigger than I think. I thought he was about seven, eight pounds. Oh nice yeah, kitty. he's a nice catfish. Come I'm on, gonna... come on. Wait till I see that hook ready. just in the side of the mouth. Look at this. Oh. Great. Now you see why we've got a, a big net, right? Let's bring him right back here. Maybe we'll put him right there on the floor. And I'm gonna hold it up so the viewers can see where that hook is. I'm gonna go just underneath the gill plate. Nice. And fish you know like what? That. I'm gonna put my glove on. Thank you. You know what? You're being an excellent guide. You're being a little bit, uh, a little bit humble because you've been fishing here so much. I don't come down here that often for the channel cats. I fished here for walleye, mm -hmm. but this time of the year they're so plentiful. Come on. I usually lip these guys like a bass, by the way. But I'm going to put my finger underneath. Problem is when they don't want to open their mouth, and that's what he's doing right now. Come on. He's got strong jaw, but I've got a strong hand. Now you can see the circle hook. That's why I wanted to hold this fish up. The circle hook is just on the edge of the mouth, and I'll explain to you why these circle hooks work so good. So that is a perfect hook set, eh? Right on the edge, should pop out. Nice. There, perfect. Okay, you've been getting quite a few. How heavy is he? Is he eight? Uh, he'd go, well, between eight and 10. I was gonna say nine, yeah, exactly. I think they're so beautiful. A lot of people don't like catfish. Look at those sparkle in his eye. Look at that nice smooth skin. It's gorgeous. Yeah. That sexy tail. Look at this. Very it's sexy. a gorgeous fish. <laughs> right here from the Grand River. Anybody can come out here, right? Now, do you guide when you're not up north? Do you guide down here? Yep, for all species. So if people want to catch fish right here in the Grand, you'll take them out? Absolutely. Perfect. Okay, I'm just going to get them back. Brian, if you want to get the net, this is where you're going to be the release man. We're going to put him in the basket net. Yeah, I think he's about 8 to 10. It's hard to guess, you know, but he's it a is. good size. Look, can you believe this? The sun is out. Come on, see if I can hold him by the tail. You know what? There's no way to grab him by the tail when they want to go. Hey, good job guiding, Nice Ryan. fish. Nice and I fish. thought you were just a really good walleye guide. <laughs> Fisher girl! Catch the passion! When it comes to fishing, the knots that you use are really important because that's what's going to hold a fish on when you catch it. And I've got Kate here, who's a master knot tire and also a fisher girl, and she's going to demonstrate a really good knot. Kate, what knot are you going to demonstrate? I am going to demonstrate the Palmer knot. Okay. Here I have a piece of fly line so that you can actually see it at home. And what I'm going to start with doing is flipping it over and doubling up the line so that I have a little loop here. And then I'm going to take the tip of the loop and put it through the eye of my hook, just like this, giving me enough room to take it through and make a hitch. There's my half hitch. And before I tighten it too tight, I'm gonna take the loop and put it underneath the hook and bring it up above my little knot that I have there. When you tighten the knot nice and tight, just like that, it's finished. And there you have a polymer knot. Polymer knot. Thank well you. Done. Mm.